Hey, is this your first time building? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you enjoy it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Tired. Yeah. For tired. Yeah. Cool. Good work. Hey everyone, uh, I'm Pedro from St. Andrews International School. And I'm Daniel. And uh, we're talking today on behalf of all the IB students and everyone helping. And for the past three days, say the fourth day, we've been building a house. And the way this started is initially we had to get involved in a long-term project for cats. And then later on, Coon Bank came and saw us and introduced us to Habitat for Humanity. And we wanted to get involved with the community, and we saw this as a way to do it. So we made a group together, and we had to raise 200,000 baht in order to build this house. And we had the walk -thon, the bake sale, the raffle, and... Um, and the yeah. uh, head shave. Yes, yeah. and the head shaving. Yeah, so basically all the money was put together, and we raised 200,000 baht to put into this build. And none of this would have been possible without the help from everyone else. And we're really thankful for everyone who helped us. Start. What's up, guys? So why did you initially start doing this, and how do you feel about it now? Uh, for Habitat for Humanity, I started because of CAS. And this is my cast project, which we have to be involved for at least a year. So we raised money, and then we all came together and started building this house. So yeah, I started from cast. But now I feel like I want to come here like every year to help these people in needs, you know, to build their house. What have you learned from your four days here? What have I learned? Um, people's weaknesses and probably teamwork and how hard it is to be doing this kind of stuff. It looks easy, like mixing the cement that SJ is doing there. It looks really easy, but it's actually not. So you learn how hard it is and you really like boost up your teamwork. And what do you hope to achieve at the uh, end of this? Just, I don't know. I know that we don't have enough time to be able to finish this house off, but we have laid the foundation like all the bricks and stuff so I just hope that the owner of this house is happy like when this thing finish so I don't know I think I just the most that I get out of this is probably joy and happiness like it's good to see the owner smile and yeah it just feels right, so good. Gabe why did you initially start doing this? Um, my brother Pedro uh, is really involved in this and uh, he told me about it so I started helping him out but I've really enjoyed it since I've come. And uh, how do you feel about building this house? Uh, it's a really lonely experience uh, to be helping other people out and to see all the work that goes into this. And uh, I've really enjoyed it. It's been really eye-opening. Thank you, Gabe. Hope you're well. So, David, what's the hardest thing you've done all day or since you've been here? Uh, I would have to say the hardest thing uh, that we did 
would be to uh, be uh, digging that septic tank, uh, the hole for the septic tank. We had to dig a one by two meter hole, uh, 1.2 meters deep, which took most of the guys three hours just to dig. And other than that, the second day we also had to dig uh, another hole for another tank with a trench. So I'd have to say uh, digging was like the hardest part of this whole build. So Sun Jin, uh, I've seen you around with a smile laughing these whole four days. Would you be coming back here next year if you had a chance? Oh, you know, <laughs> I really like like building this house, um, especially the owner Kunurai. Like, I've been seeing her like past three days we've been working here, and her like we could always see her smiling, like her laughing, her joking around every time we were building stuff. Like each time the brick went up on the wall, like she started like the, her face got more bright, brighter and brighter. Um, I believe this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity for me and you know I, I'd be glad to come back every year you know and ha actually help out build the house because you know, I actually do enjoy it and I do like this window frame too. Uh, trying to line the wall, finish this up today, it's the last day, it's done so put it right has a beautiful house by the end of it. Hey guys, what's up? So Tonya, as the year 11, why are you here today? So a lot of students have been talking about CAS. Can yeah. you explain what CAS is? Mm. Okay, well CAS is one of the core components of the IB now, um, along with the extended essay and TOK. And CAS stands for Creativity, Action and Service. And part of what we're trying to achieve here uh, is that we're trying to get um, involved with our community in a way that we wouldn't normally. You know, a lot of the times we, we do a lot of fundraising activities, but we don't actually get into the grassroots of what charity is all about. Um, so we had the opportunity to get involved with Habitat for Humanity, literally in our backyard. Um, schools just only over the hill over there, and Kun Urai, who we're building this house for, she works in the local golf course, and she lives within our community. So this is our chance to give someone back um, when normally we wouldn't have that chance. And also, how do you feel about the work that the students have done these past few days? They're awesome! You know, it's, it's a great chance to take what we've learned in school and apply it in a situation that is completely you know, out of our curriculum areas. We're applying lots of the skills that, that we need at school, our like communication skills, our negotiation skills, um, conflict re resolution. There's, there's loads and loads of things going on in an actual working environment here um, that, that's under really difficult conditions. It was 38 degrees yesterday. It was really hot. You know, but the guys are still digging holes that are two metres deep and they're still digging 15 metre long trenches. And they're smiling about it. So, how do you guys feel about helping out with Kunurai for the past four days? Um, for me, it feels great because personally I wouldn't have this opportunity to do something for someone. So to have this opp opportunity to do something for, you know, someone who doesn't have the chance to, I don't know, like fortunate is us, I think it feels amazing. And for me, I think it's a really good opportunity. Like before, I like to be the winter. Seeing how people actually feel at houses, people feel the winter season, which I actually choose. And it's also really fun in the life to help someone feel at house. It's really good opportunity. And it's like we can change someone's life forever. Alright, so here we have three parents who have come and helped. And we want to know why did you guys decide to come here on your own free time and help? Because we're proud of seeing young people doing the work and it's um, important to show an example. It's easy to raise the money, it's harder to build the house and we're very proud of young people doing it. So it's important we can give a bit of time. I've had my run, baby I'm done, I gotta go home, let me go home. I'm coming.
coming back การที่ทุกคนได้มาสร้างบ้านเอิ่มสี่วันที่ผ่านมาคุณอุไลรู้สึกยังไงบ้างครับภูมิใจภูมิใจมากและการที่บ้านของคุณอุไลจะอยู่ใกล้โรงเรียนมากนะครับคุณอุไลคิดยังไงบ้างสําหรับการที่เด็กที่โรงเรียนได้มาช่วยเหลือครับดีมากใกล้ที่บ้านที่เรา